rid of them for St. Croix and uh, putting on pole, Rover Swords. Uh, P2, Obi Wan, uh, driving for digital car culture, P3, uh, just hidden by Obi Wan at the minute, is myself in the PlayStation uh, Subaru, the number 3 car. Then you've got Has 91 with his power windscreen wipers. P4, great qualifying for Hasnati 1 there in the Red Bull car. Then we've got Mr. Miggins, uh, the tie whisper himself in the Samsung car, the number 31. P5 him, Shellshock, our American friend in the other Samsung car, the number 99. He's in P6. Uh, Matt Elwood, South African, the number 30 car. He is in a P7 Surfer. Then number 33, our host with the most, P8 for him. Uh, MRC Buddy in the very imaginative We Are Driven livery in there uh, in P9. Uh, then P Gibb, uh, he's driving for Infinity Decals. He is in P10. Then there's Rafa, my teammate, number 79, PlayStation car uh, in 11th. McCreda, P12. Uh, he's also driving for Digital Car Culture. And last but by no means least, the man from down under in the quick fit car, that is Diablo. Enjoy the race. Welcome to season 15. This is the Elite One League uh, race one. I'm almost ready to get away. First race in the uh, one make Subaru WRX Group 4. Uh, four lights, five lights. Uh, it's like that way we go. Everyone seems to get away well. Uh, no uh, major issues, although I was aware of an issue. That's, we have got an issue actually. It is right at the back. Let's go and have a look. It's Diablo. He false started. Unfortunately, that means he's going to be stuck labouring on the grid. He's going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit of a way back. We'll go and have a check on him uh, shortly. We'll just see how everyone gets through turns one, two, and three first. See if everyone makes it through. Uh, Obi's told gets uh, through turn one ahead. So Obi Wan went a little bit wide. That's going to give me the opportunity to uh, hopefully get myself back past. And has that one his power wipers maintaining fourth. Miggins is a driver that will be looking to uh, make his way up. As I do get myself past Obi Wan and into second, uh, Miggins fifth, Matt Elwood and Shellshock battling it out for that uh, P6 spot. Then you got Buddy and Surfer battling away for eighth. Uh, good little battle going away at the back between Rafa, McCreda and P Gibb. P Gibb with the evergreen logo on the back of his car, hoping to uh, block the proverbial Suez Canal uh, and Diablo. And now, after having served that false start penalty, and a couple of seconds of drift at the back of the field. So, Robertson leads us away uh, over the bridge for the first time. Uh, has that one there, getting the switch back done on Miggins. Miggins had gone for the overtake, but went a little bit deep. Uh, has that one able to get that position back? Then you got Matt Elwood and Shellshock battling away through the long sweeping right-hander. This is, the tire, uh, this is the tire killer corner, and you do carry quite a lot of speed and lateral load through there, so your tires do take a bit of a kicking. Uh, MRC Buddy and Surf Rev fighting away as well, and then P Gibb and GT Rafa uh, scrapping more towards the back. Uh, I've got myself up into P1. Now, touch on uh, myself and uh, Robus in a little while as to uh, why it was going like it was. Uh, Obi-Wan has escaped away from the fight uh, that Miggins and Hazlight 1 were having. Uh, Matt Elwood with a, a great start so far, up to 6th position with Shellshock in 7th. A good little battle going off here as ooh, Matt Elwood gets it really wrong there. Uh, just touches the grass on the exit. That's going to leave uh, the door open for shell shot potentially, but he manages to successfully defend that. Uh, right, let's uh, talk race strategy then. So myself and uh, Robust Hood pretty much had a gentleman's agreement that we wouldn't fight too much in the early stages of the race. It's a half an hour race that we've got ahead of us tonight. Those that are familiar to the championship will know the format pointless in most cases. Uh, it's a lot of fun, but it's pretty pointless if you want in a result to, to fight the entirety of the way through it. That was Obi-Wan goes very deep. That's gone on that Miggins uh, Miggins up the entire Miggins who picks up a little bit sorry, has that one picks up a little bit of a penalty. Uh, Miggins is already through into third position. Pretty much going free wide there down the S's as uh, has that one looks to be a little bit uh, all over the place to be real there. So where's he going? Oh, he's going off the track. He's going into the wall, and that's, uh, that's 
not game over for Haas, uh, but it's certainly going to uh, put pace on any progress he was making. He was running in fifth touch up behind the rear wing of Obi-Wan. Uh, did have a significant tire advantage over Obi-Wan's car. Had to back out of it. Uh, that's Matt Elwood behind. Does he just get... Yeah, he just gets some front air wash. Uh, so because he's running so close to the back end of another car, you've not got all that fresh, clean, undisturbed air hitting the front end of the car, uh, providing you with all that lovely downforce that we uh, that we all love so much. And um, uh, because of that, he uh, understeered wide into the corner. Uh, shot shot then, uh, up into fifth after uh, getting past Matt Elwood. Matt Elwood might fight this one back though. He's still got a wheel in there, so he might well get the inside line and uh, just try fighting this one back. does fight it back but it's going to be a slipstream battle but I think Shellshot is going to end up winning uh, down the back straight all this fighting is slowing these guys down so you'll notice already uh, as Miggins and Obi-Wan continue their little fight uh, you will notice already that uh, myself and Robus have pulled away a little bit of a gap now to the cars behind uh, you'll see as we go through the race that, that we're not necessarily scrapping as much as these guys are and the scrapping is slowing these guys down so uh, Matt Elwood and Shellshot doing some of that scrapping then as we go through the uh, rear axis right towards the end of lap number two uh, Matt Elwood down with a great start so far someone else is up a very good start is this one Mr McFeeder up to P8 already fighting away with Surfer at the time being then we've got P. Gibb in 10th has that in 1 in 11th after that war slap GT Raffo uh, 12th and Diablo has caught up to the back of the pack now so Diablo can start making uh, making progress oh yeah me and uh, me and Robus <coughs> probably not touch on us too many times in this race uh, we are um, working together so if one of us had uh, a better exit or a better entry into a corner, the other one wouldn't fight the overtake that was going to happen, and by not fighting, you're not slowing each other down as much. Uh, there is a downside to that though, which is tyre wear, so because we're running in constantly dirty air, uh, we are scrubbing our front tyres because we haven't got that front aero, or as much of that front aero. Uh, so we will probably get a little bit more hurt tyre wear. Talking off tyres, Obi-Wan, the only driver in the field, and we'll go through the tyres very shortly, the only driver in the field, as I know this from, from the race, he's the only one to run the mediums. The mediums which offer the best, or some of the best, longevity, but doesn't have much in terms of grip, so in terms of lap pace, he will suffer a little bit, but he pretty much is nailing his, uh, uh, nailing his intentions of a no-stop to the wall. A lot of other drivers you will see running hybrids. Uh, so like McCreda running the softs on the front and the super softs on the rear. Uh, Matt Elwood running softs all round. Shout shock softs all round as well. As we see McCreda goes for the move there, but Matt Elwood to defend that. Buddy then looked to go very deep into the court, just about managed to survive it. Buddy is the only driver out on super softs all round. Uh, the problem he's going to have is his front tyres are going to get an absolute kick in. So, uh, is he saying to everyone else that he's going to try and um, that he's going to have to try and make a pit stop here? In terms of strategy, uh, no stop but technically is faster. Given that a pit stop here at St. Croix costs you about 21 22 seconds, uh, and you shouldn't in theory lose that much time uh, on a set of worn tyres if you manage them correctly. Did you see Shell Shot then, who's running in fifth? Let's get rid of a little bit of that penalty. So it's third to, I'm gonna say, at least eighth or ninth. Yeah, third to ninth battle. Uh, any one of these cars could could emerge victorious from this one, I'll be really honest, we see Buddy and Surfman fighting away, uh, coming through turn three, and uh, down the S's then, we've got uh, Obi-Wan, Shellshot, Matt Elwood and Miggins all scrapping away for uh, for these positions then, uh, Shellshot just leading this charge at the minute, we've got Obi-Wan on the inside, 
that matter, would join in on that as well. There's a little bit of contact between him and Miggins at the apex, and they're pretty much going to go three or four wide then. Uh, Shellshot is managing just to pull a little bit of a gap because of all this fighting that would pulls to the inside. Uh, Obi-Wan gives him as much of a squeeze as he feels necessary. Matterwood does go a little bit deep, gets a move done, but goes deep, and that's just going to let Obi-Wan get that position back. Miggins is going to try and follow him through. And Matterwood could be left out to dry here. He's going to need to find a slip stream, come down the back straight. And it looks like he's been able to do that. He's found a gap. And it's now just going to be a slip stream for six cars in a row. They're going to be slip stream each other down to this corner. As you see myself and Robus at the uh, bottom hairpin. Basically, a lap robust by. There's no point in fighting. Then we've got Shell Shock in third. And then there's this. There's this lot. And anything could happen. Oh, we've got a car off. Who's that? He's Shell Shock. It looked like it. It looked like on the initial camera he touched the gravel out on the left hand side. I'm going to guess he took, took a little bit too much speed in. Yeah, he's in fourth. 80 miles an hour apex speed. Probably a little bit too fast and just runs it a little bit wide. Subaru's a four-wheel drive, but uh, they're, they're not that. They're not that. Um, they're not that good. Especially not on slick tyres. So that's going to put Shell Shot right down near to the back now. I think uh, it was even looking like GT Rafa might catch him. Uh, sticking up with this pack though, this is where the action is at the minute. Um, it is Obi Wan proving to be a cork in the bottle for everybody else now. Miggins is got to try and get past quickly he's on the inside then coming up the uh, main straight looks like he might have that move mate uh, Obi-Wan's doing a fantastic job on the medium compound tyre uh, McGreda and MRC Buddy fighting away Buddy's on the super soft tyre he will be starting to feel those tyres go now we, have, we are starting the fifth lap Qualifying the super soft really were only good for one lap before you really start to feel them pinch away from you. Uh, even a set of softs you had to nurse to stop the heat cycles just getting to them a little bit too much. Yeah, shelf shots all the way down in 12 uh, near Diablo now. And myself and Robo still working away at the top. Then you've got Miggins and P3. Uh, Obi Wan just about hold on to fourth ahead of Matt Elwood. Then it's for Creed, a surfer, a buddy. Uh, P. Gibb and Has91 all in this train. GT Raffo not too far away from those either. Uh, coming down the bridge for the fifth time of asking, and it's Obi Wan that is becoming just a cork in the bottle now. As we see McCreda go for the move there, and Matt Elwood, nice to tag on the brakes there, Matt McCreda. Lovely overtake coming out the back end of the bridge. I think Matt Elwood was, was surprised by that. As we can just jump back to McCreda's car and see Sir Forever get passed on the inside as well. Coming onto the main straight. Is that a bit of a poison chalice then for Sir Fev? Because he's just giving slipstream to everybody else now. So just passed uh, a third of the way through. I let Robus by at the end of the straight. It seemingly makes sense to just work together then. to the point in the race where we would normally start thinking about strategy so any drivers that are considering a pit stop uh, would be thinking about probably coming in end of lap six or lap seven uh, anyone who's wanting to get the undercut because if you're stuck in a, in a big train like this uh, pitting early to get the undercut might be very powerful here at St Croix does anyone go for that no one particularly does go for that straight away. Oh, we've got the Suez Canal blocker and has that one going in, so they're going to try and get the undercut. Uh, everyone else carries on, so not everyone's going to pit, to be fair, so we'll see how that uh, evolves for everybody else. Uh, we know that uh, Obi-Wan pretty much committing himself to a no-stop. If the cars around him pit, he will pick up a lot of positions. If myself and Robus pit, he's potentially in for a race win, so... Although Obi-Wan might be looking at the minute like he's just holding everybody up and being a bit of a nuisance, he's playing the long game here. The rest of us are just trying to um, manage tyres and manage pace and performance and just basically stop the tyres from overheating and kicking off and degrading too early on in the race. 
Uh, someone who's very good at managing his tyres is the tyre whisperer himself, Mr. Miggins. Uh, commented on him last season, some of you may remember it, uh, that watched the coverage. Uh, he's somehow got an exceptionally sensitive braking foot and doesn't really ever take too much uh, life out of his tyres, as we see McCreda and Matt Elwood then going side by side. A little bit of contact at the apex that does pop McCreda in the wall, but definitely no intent. Uh, on that outwards part by that, so uh, racing does continue. Uh, one thing I will say as well is sometimes you'll watch these and you see little nudges of contact and things. Uh, do remember that typically all the drivers are in uh, a chat together. So if something were to happen on track, chances are uh, we've communicated about it in the chat and uh, we, we typically sort these sort of things out ourselves. Miggins then starting to, um, starting to come under pressure a little bit from Obi-Wan. So this is where Miggins' tyre management, I guess, is going to be, not his undoing, but um, it's not helping at the minute. So it, because he's managing tyres and Obi-Wan isn't really bothered about tyre management, he's just going flat out, uh, albeit on a slower compound of tyre. He's dragging Surfer over with him. Miggins, because he's just breaking maybe that little bit earlier so he doesn't have to break as hard, he's coasting a little bit more through corners. Naturally, just a little bit slower. We do see Matt Elwood then peel off into the pits. Uh, two more cars join him in GT Raffo and Shell Shot. So we've got uh, five cars in total that have pitted so far. I wouldn't actually expect any more cars to come in, to be fair, because pitting at the end of lap seven, looking at the time, wouldn't really work out overall because the cars that have already pitted have just got that much of an undercut on you it's not really worth it so if you've not pitted by now it's probably too late uh, the undercut appears to be quite a powerful tool so if you've uh, committed this far congratulations you've got a one-way ticket to the end of the race now and myself and Moba still working together. We have a little bit of a gap over Miggins. The gap is 5.3 seconds. Uh, Miggins now, though, in clear air. To be fair, could probably run faster laps than us and tyre manage at the same time because we are still in very close proximity. Uh, me and Moba's rarely more than six to eight times between us the entire race. Uh, we are halfway through that race now. Plenty can still happen. Can Obi-Wan hold on? Uh, can the tyres of Miggins, Surfer, McCreda all hold up to the punishment they are getting in this um, very high deck French circuit? Diablo from the back of the grid then because of all the pit stops uh, up to P7. Uh, Buddy then on the super softs. Really losing time on those uh, on those supers now. There's quite a lot of wear on those, as you can see the tire graphic there in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Uh, Buddy's tires pretty much at 40% wear on the front left. So what that means is you just haven't got as much grip. Is as simple as that. You haven't got the braking performance. You haven't got the cornering performance. Uh, handling these cars at a 4 by 4 you run the risk of uh, wheel spinning. Those. Uh, that front left as well, so got to be very careful in driving it from now on. Uh, Matt Elwood, who has pitted, he's uh, what is he behind Buddy? He's four seconds behind Buddy who hasn't pitted, but then Buddy's got seven and a half seconds to up to Diablo. So in reality, uh, Diablo peels off into the pits then. So that's going to cost him quite a lot of time coming into the pits then. Check cut back on this battle, which has mostly resolved itself. Uh, the Megan's Obi Wan Surf Red battle seems to have chilled its beans now. Of a lot of the drivers coming into the pits, uh, we've gone from having a six or seven car absolute scuffle of fun uh, to three, maybe four, if McGreedy can get himself back in there. Uh, Buddy's just dropping further and further back now with that tyre wear. Uh, Matt Elwood. I'd imagine will get Buddy and will then start to reel in McGreeda. And can he do much about uh, getting anywhere near sixth position uh, by the time we get to the end of the race in about 12 and a half minutes time? Time will, of course, tell. Has that he wants? Just popped in the fastest lap of the race. Those power wipers uh, 
coming into force at 18.3. Nice little battle cooking off here then between Shellshock, Raffo and P. Gibb. Uh, coming across the bridge. All drivers on fresh tyres then. Uh, Shellshock, who was running third at one point in the race. So we know he has the pace. Just an unfortunate incident coming out of the hairpin as Raffo and him go side by side. Uh, Raffo cuts it just a little bit deep. And that might even give P. Gibb a little bit of a run on him. P. Gibbs pretty much forced to take the wide line and uh, yeah he's just had to settle back in dive low after his pit stop he's on the super soft is he just going for a fastest lap here we will see uh, he's quite aware of the back of everybody else myself and Robus still predictably uh, working together but you can see our tyres are starting to feel the pain now as I understand a little bit wide there Miggins and Obi-Wan still battling away to say Obi-Wan's on a medium tyre, uh, Miggins isn't dropping him. Uh, so it's a great drive from Obi-Wan so far. Granted, he started um, he started high up the grid, but his strategy would have always cost him places early in the race. Uh, a lot of his strategy was banking on other cars pitting, which of course they have, but not the cars around him, which is unfortunate for his uh, strategy team. Surfer F holding fifth at the minute just ahead of Macreda. That is a battle that could potentially um, fire up Macreda that lap six temps faster than Surfer F was. So he is pulling him back in again. Uh, you got Matt Elwood who has got past Buddy now. 18 4 that lap for Matt Elwood. Uh, set, nearly a second and a half faster than uh, the guys ahead. So he is starting to reel them in. Back to the back, still got Diablo out there. He's done his outlap now, so he can uh, he can set about putting a fast time in. P. Gibb, Rafa, and Shell Shock. This fight simmered a little bit. You know, they're not nose to tail like they were anymore. Everyone nice and tidy over the bridge. P. Gibb got a really good drive out of that. Rafa under threat, in fact, doesn't pull out for the move. Potentially hit the PlayStation driver, might drop down to 12th. P. Gibb gets his braking right. Seems to be nice and tidy, but Rafa was just as tidy. Uh, good defensive driving then from the PlayStation driver, right? Just to keep that 11th position for the time being. Uh, has that one though, trying to get his way past Buddy. Tyro or no Tyro in a straight line you're pretty much just as fast in a straight line as you always were it's going to be coming down to the braking zone that uh, the MRC buddy's going to be vulnerable because that front left just doesn't have the grip and he's going to have to get on the brakes a little bit uh, quicker although he's on the extreme inside line can't get on the power quite as quick and has that one can and just drives around the inside nice overtake there by has that one uh, Matt Elwood, uh, not much to report on Matt at the minute, he's bang in the middle of two packs of cars. Uh, this is good news for Matt Elwood though, in a lot of terms of, um, he's got no one to battle with, so he can just go around putting fast laps in. In fact, um, this lap itself looks to be a very capable lap, and it's, a, it's an 18-0, so that's fastest lap of the race so far. Macreda's got past Surf F somewhere, so that lap for Surf, yeah, Surf is really starting to feel his tyres now. Macreda's done a better job of looking after those tyres. <coughs> Surf F, uh, 20.8 that time round. Don't know whether he made a mistake or what, not too sure. Couldn't, couldn't tell you, didn't see it. Um, Macreda's having a great drive so far with uh, eight minutes remaining of this one. Uh, Miggins has dropped Obi Wan just a little bit. A vast amount, a couple of attempts that lap. <coughs> uh, so Miggins now has a little bit. Uh, he, he has been catching us, so that gap you remember was five seconds. He's now 3.9, so he's took a second and a bit out of me and Robus. Uh, me and Robus, of course, haven't been scuffling our way, but um, we are on dilapidated old tyres, so unfortunately, we will be uh, feeling the pinch of these tyres now. 
will come a point in the race, despite the fact we're working together quite nicely at this minute in time, there will come a point where that uh, where that stops. And once more me and Robus dance. And we've done this a couple of times before, we've uh, raced in this league a vast number of occasions. It was a running joke for a while that uh, no matter what we did, me and Robus always ended up on the same part of the track at the same time. And him looking at the back of my car and me looking at the back of his car was a very familiar sight to each of us so we've uh, uh, we've done this on a couple of occasions and uh, it looks like we're set for a grandstand finish here as to who takes the win at St Quay in the opening race of the Mature Racing Club Grand Turismo Touring Car Championship of course there are um, a vast number of leagues this is Elite 1 uh, Tier 2 in effect Tier 2 of 9 all leagues have commentary there is links in the description below you can check out the commentary team by clicking those links uh, i would vastly encourage you to go and show your support also show your support to we are driven uh, they do have a team represented in here buddy does drive for them but he's love is a little bit on the basic side um but yeah we are driven a charity initiative set up by the sim racing groups uh, to raise awareness, funds and support to uh, worthy charities. So they have a team represented here. Another, uh, another new entrant for this season is Digital Car Culture. Uh, represented here by uh, LB1, the DCC, an online sim racing magazine. And I will uh, drop a link in the description below to them. Uh, and the last new team to uh, give you an intro to can find a car that's represented them. Infinity decals. P. Gibbs representing them, but somehow he's painted his car as a container ship instead. Uh, Infinity decals worked with uh, a lot of the sim racing groups a lot of time because you rec recognise Infinity decals from the Infinity GT manufacturer series. They're a main sponsor there, uh, and they have entered a team. Oh, in fact, they've been invited to run as a team here <coughs> uh, in the largest unofficial group on GT Sport. So the last five minutes then, we are set up for a bit of a grandstand finish. I, I would argue that Miggins has pretty much nailed that third to the ground and potentially could catch me and Robus if we carry on fighting away. Uh, but it's all up in the air then between Obi-Wan, McCreed and potentially Sir Frev for 4th, 5th and 6th respectively. Matt Elwood could always catch them as well. Nice side by side action then between the two digital car culture cars. These of course are teammates. Uh, the liveries don't look the same but you don't have to run about your liveries. Uh, it's just me and Rafa do. Yeah, Matt Elwood then, after running in the middle of two battles for quite a while, just put in a 78 which is the fastest lap of the race so far and he's now reeling Sir Fravin at a rate of knots. So Obi-Wan now at the uh, <coughs> now potentially vulnerable on those medium tyres. So now would someone we could keep an eye out for a little bit further back. It's still business as usual here with Shellshock has 91 and P Gibb having their own little fight uh, for 8th, 9th and 10th respectively. Then you got GT Rafa 11th position at the minute ahead of Diablo and MRC Buddy uh, with just a smithering of tyres remaining on that uh, Subaru is in at 13th position. Uh, so penultimate lap now, lap number 12, this and one more to go. Uh, and although I currently lead the race, chances are uh, that uh, that order will swap around once or twice before we hit the check and flag. If you're a betting man, lady, person, just 2021, you can be whatever you want to be, no judgment from me. But if you were to place a bet, would you would you be comfortable betting that the top eight finishes exactly the way it currently is, which is myself, Robus, Miggins, McCreda, Obi-Wan, Surfrev, Matt Elwood and Shellshock. Uh, the Obi-Wan, Surfrev, Matt Elwood finale with one lap remaining could get very, very juicy. Surfer and Obi-Wan running in the 21s, 22s. Matt Elwood's good for 17s, 18s, so he's going a lot faster. 
doesn't look like it visually, but uh, he's going a couple of seconds faster uh, than these guys. So if I'm looking for the move there, Oberon's also looking for the move on Macrida. Just poke his, uh, just poke his car out. Uh, what, no room at the end then. Macrida maintains fourth for the time being. Uh, Miggins third is reeling us in. I will just highlight this gap again. 3.1 seconds now, but he's just running out of laps. Myself and Robus doing a good enough job at the minute. Uh, so we are now coming round to start the final lap. Two minutes remaining. So final lap about to start. And you're all entering the final lap then. Myself, Robus Hood, Miggins, uh, Macrida, Obi Wan, Surfer F, Matt Elwoods. Quite at the back of Surfer F now. Shell Shock in eighth. Has that one in ninth? As you see Raffo 10th of Diablo 11th, Buddy in 12th. Something has happened to P. Gibb. Some awful has bestowed upon him. Always span it. Yeah, he carried a lot of speed in there. He did the exact same thing that Shellshot did. Uh, once you pick the throttle up, you're, um, you've pretty much sealed your fate, I'm afraid. Uh, P. Gibb does wait for all the cars to, uh, to pass, but then slams himself head first into the wall. Uh, doing it the evergreen way getting in everyone's way of course it's unfortunate for P. Gibb though because he's been running quite nicely in this race putting some good laps in there uh, no doubt he'll be quite disappointed in that but uh, the silver lining there is that he will have prime position for race 2 which is of course the reverse grid this time round the reverse grid is coming uh, from Fuji uh, and the reverse grid race is the one where you select your own car so you are allowed to pick any Group 4 car that isn't the Subaru. And that will be covered in the next video. So it's another great race. You'll want to tune in for that one. So, last lap shenanigans then. Uh, Robus Hood leading the race. After 29 minutes of action. Uh, myself and Robus separated by just a 10 for 2 I will argue, though, this is exactly where I wanted to be at this point, because you want the slipstream going down the back straight. Although I poked my nose out there, that was more to spot my breaking point than anything else. And Matt Elwood has overtaken Sir Rev. So Matt Elwood has got himself into P6. Uh, after all that drama, he's potentially going to look at uh, picking up a position on Obi-Wan as well. See if that slipstream at the end of the main straight comes to anything. Meanwhile, the top two, myself and Robus, nothing to split between us as we come down the back straight for the last time of asking. After half an hour's worth of racing, it is side by side with just a handful of corners to go. Robus Hill's got the inside line. It's who's, whoever's got the biggest uh, gentleman sausage coming down into the hairpin. Just about managed to hang it round the outside. Very sketchy, but there's absolutely no contact between myself and Robus. Very good racing between us. And just managed to keep the inside line. Just jumping back. Does Matt Elwood get anything done on Obi-Wan? Uh, Obi-Wan looks to go defensive. Yeah, Obi-Wan looks like he might have done enough there. Just parked his car on the apex. Uh, no room at the end for Matt Elwood, I'm afraid. He's not able to get to get past there. Meanwhile, at the, at the top, by the finish to thin margins, it is myself. <laughs> just about leader of the race. Uh, going defensive into the final corner. Robusto just trying to find a way through. And it's going to be a drag race to the line then. Robus will take as much slipstream as he can. And I can reveal the winning margin is less than a tenth of a second between myself and Robusto. Then it's Miggins, Babs third. Great race for Miggins. McCreed in fourth. Obi-Wan at fifth place for him. And Matt Eld in sixth. Surfrev in seventh. Uh, Shell Shock. P8 for Shellshot, the American. Uh, has 91 in P9. Uh, GT Raffo coming home in 10th. Uh, Diablo in 11th. Uh, MRC Buddy drags that car across the line in 12th. And P Gibb 13th. Join us next time for Fuji.